and adds an interesting uh, effect to the bike race uh, for me, honestly. This is actually my first time doing Gila. So um, I'm kind of learning as we go with the courses and just getting the feedback from the girls who have done it before. Um, but uh, I'm thinking that it hasn't been this windy before in the past, so it's going to be just a whole new uh, element for everybody racing, whether you've raced it before or not. Um, but it'll be good. I'm, I'm thinking our team's pretty well versed in, race, in racing in the wind with going over to Europe and stuff like that. There's not too many races in the U.S. where you get wind like this, so uh, we kind of have an upper hand, I think. So what is the secret um, to racing in the wind um, <laughs> that you can it, share? Make it hard for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do that? <laughs> Got to pay attention to where it's coming from. Um, it sounds like the first part of the course is going to be pretty much a crosswind, um, and so gonna just be riding on in the gutter on the side of the road and you know staying together as a team and, and seeing how everybody's feeling. And uh, what's the plan today? Is it you know to let a, a non-threatening break go or you know? Um, well we're looking at a, b a bunch of different things. We can uh, we obviously can't let this something threatening go off the road um, but we're also looking for stage wins mm. as well. Um, we've got oh, yeah. a bunch of capable riders here who can go for the stage wins as well as, you know, protect Mara for the overall. That's so. right, because last year it did finish in the fun sprint. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we've got a couple cards to play. Alright, so and how are you feeling? You know, I haven't talked to you in a long time. Yeah, How's it going? Um, I'm coming around. I've uh, just come off of a full track season. Yeah. Um, so, I don't have too much road fitness and definitely... Uh, Doing some long climbs at altitude is uh, not something that I've definitely uh, that I've prepared for very much, um, but it's good. It's it's coming around and uh, just taking it one day at a time and seeing how it plays. So how does altitude impact you? I mean, and how do you? Well, from I that? I live not quite at sea level, but definitely not at altitude. Um, and I typically in the past haven't done well at altitude. Um, today's only the second day, so usually the third and fourth day is where you, where I really start to see the effects of it. Um, but I'm trying to stay conscious of my hydration and eating and, um, you know, try and get rid of as many of the effects of altitude that you might have if you don't stay on top of that kind of stuff. So we'll see. Thank you. Yeah.